Sounds like it. Welcome back to the New Zealand. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to match it up against the Oxford United versus Plymouth Argyle. Um, in the performance, which was it was better than what we've seen over the past few weeks, but unfortunately we do lose the game. Oxford three, Plymouth Argyle one, and the first half, first half looked, first half was boring. It's got to be said from our point of view. Uh, it was slow. We didn't hardly get into the game. Oxford just. Oxford just had the ball constantly and we didn't have any, no no chances of what I can remember of the first half and they scored in the 25th minute thanks to Joe Edwards' own goal. Uh, Paku gave away a silly free kick and they whipped it in and Joe Edwards couldn't deal with it and he, uh, he put it into his own net and that was it for the first half, really nothing else happened. The second half started off really well from us, we dominated the majority of the second half. Um, it's what we've been wanting to see for ages now and we got a goal from it it was a lovely move lovely move from uh from the boys and slotted in pat slotted into ennis and ennis opened his body and passed it around the keeper and that was that was it and we would been focusing on the crew rochdale game today what which is uh rochdale was the only team that could possibly catch us but that's over now we have got we've secured a place in league one for next season which is a massive positive but what we're seeing right now from the performances on the pitch, we now need, we, we can probably know who's going next season and who needs to go anyway from from our team. And um, the defence is one of them. Defense, defenders is just two individuals, individuals as well. It needs to go Watts and Apoku. I don't like to name and shame, but them the two, them the two that definitely need to go. Yeah, Apoku, Apoku has a really good days. Pocky really is a good player on his day, but some of the some of the decisions he makes is just not good enough. He um he was out fault for one of them, the second goal. He was at fault for a couple more chances. They could have had more in the first half. We was that we was awful at the back in the first half. Balls coming flying everywhere into the box, and the Pocky did not deal with them. The, the goals he's conceded this season as well. He hasn't got close to his man, or he's just made the wrong decisions, like the one today in Oxford. He just fouled him, fouled him. Um, just, it's just no need. It was un, it was unnecessary to foul him there, and they got the goal from that. Um, but yeah, we got back into it, and then they scored a couple of minutes later again. Shite defending, ball come in and just just hit it top top of the goal, and it was two one. Come off the crossbar and in. Uh, that was two one, and then it looked like that was the game there. We tried, we tried to make something happen, but it was just fell apart then. And um, Oxford got their third from a corner again. Two set pieces, set pieces need work for next season. I think we need a proper defensive coach, if I'm honest with you, because I don't think we've got a, a very good one now. Um, but we need, we need that. Quality defenders needed for next season, and if we want to push up, because as we said, we're not going to look at anything. We're just going to try and stay in this league for next season. But I know a lot of people from the run we've had, and where the positions we was at, we was at tenth once, and we could have actually pushed for playoffs or whatever. But you seen, you seen our goal difference. You seen the goals we conceded, and it's just not good enough to fight for that at the moment. And where we are now, we secured a place in League One next season, and it's just up and upwards and upwards now. And um, we can focus on now the who who actually wants to stay and play for the badge next season. Who actually wants to wear wear the shirt for us next season? Because it's just not good enough what we're what we're witnessing, and it just looks so it looks so dull at some points. And that's not us. We want intensity all the time. Um, it's ninety minutes of football, not forty five minutes. Uh it's just not a it's not good enough that you play good enough one half and then just drop. The first half was dreadful, but the second half was a lot of positives to take out of um Noel is getting back on the score sheet. Jeff Cott had an okay game. Danny Mayer, Kamara played absolutely brilliant. He's my man of the match today. And yeah, that was it really. And yeah. Next week, we move on to Sunderland at home and as I said, it's nothing to play for now, but it's just want good performances and we want to end the last two games strong strong positive and just get on with it really 
that is it really that's all i've got to say for this game so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave a like smash the like can we hit 20 likes on this match day reaction that'd be insane and um subscribe if you're on new we're not going to hit 500 by the end of the season but the support this uh, this year has been incredible and i can't wait to get back into the stadiums for better better vlogs much better content for you guys and there will be euros content for my uh for me this year supporting england along the way with vlogs and uh match reactions throughout the games as well so yeah stay safe guys and i'll see you guys in the next one take care peace